Yo, what's going on, y'all? It's Combo Breaker 99. I'm back with another real quick video here. Just make sure y'all subscribe. Um, we've got some good news, man. Deontay Wilder looks like he uh, chose not to fire or split from uh, Mark Breland. Um, I saw this on a Yahoo Sports article. Uh, just came up, you know, earlier, and um, you know, he stated that to Dan Raphael that he still feels like he could have went out on his shield that night. You know, he still feels like he could have been that warrior. But you know, he realized that Mark Breland was looking out for was looking out for him. You know, he was uh, you know thinking about his best interests, and that, that's why he threw that towel in. And um, he stated that you know Mark Breland is still Team Wilder. And um, just a couple points on that I just wanted to make is first off I, I gotta say that I really respect Wilder. You know, um, definitely respect him for this. You know, because this is just another stage as far as you know him realizing that you know he was losing that fight that night very badly and. Um, it's it's just coming down to you know he's accepting he's just accepting defeat now you know um i feel like um mark breland when it comes down to mark breland and what he did you really got to take your hat off to him because from the way it sounds mark breland made took the initiative to say yo my fighter is hurt it was him the one that really showed that he cared when you think about it cuz everybody else was more so worried about what what wilder would think and as far as going by Wilder's, um, you know, his mantra or his motto or whatever is, you know, go out on his shield, just let him keep going and near die in the ring. But Mark Brillen said F that, you know, it came down to him using his mind and not letting Wilder tell him what to do, you know. And I feel like that's what they need more of in Wilder's corner, because maybe Mark Brillen wants to do some certain things, but. Maybe he wants to do certain things sometimes in there, but it's kind of like, you know, they can't really act on it all the time because it's like, you know, Wilder has more say in there. But that night, it was just one of the biggest events in the world. And Wilder, he was just getting dominated throughout the fight. And for Mark Brillen to do what he did, you know, on that big of a platform, you know, it took a lot of guts. You know, it took a lot of guts, but it also took a lot of heart because that shows you who in the corner really cared about him, you know. If that makes sense, that really shows you who was the one guy that didn't want to see him suffer. They didn't want to see the warrior. They wanted to see Deontay Wilder be able to, you know, live another day. They wanted to see Deontay Wilder, you know, be able to hug his wife and kids again, you know. And that's what it came down to. Because imagine you seeing somebody you really care about in the ring, not having an answer for whatever the other guy's having. He's just getting completely dominated, you know. If you really care about that person and not, and you don't care about what that person says or how they're going to react to you after the fight, you know, that means you don't really care about that person, you know? See, Deont see Mark Breland, he cares about the person. That's how I, that's the feeling I got from it. I, I, I felt like he was like, yo, I, I'll, you know, I'll deal with the consequences later. Like he might not like me after this, but one day he'll thank me. And, you know, Deontay Wilder, uh, you know, only took him a few days and he was able to come to his senses and thank Mark Breland and realize that he was really looking out for him. But, um, yeah, man, that's really all I got on this one. I, I, I just kind of want to give you my thoughts on that because, you know, um, on the podcast episode, we talked about the split. But, you know, I want to keep it. I want to keep current on this one. You know, I just wanted to make sure people know that, you know, Wilder and Mark Breland are, are still are still a team now. And um, with that being said, you know, I know he's only like second in command there, but. It just kind of shows you that you need more people in that corner that that are willing to take that initiative and, you know, kind of feel wilder in on different things, you know, uh, as far as, you know, even technique and skill. You know, there's got to be somebody in there that says, you know, we, we need to switch it up sometimes. You know, we need to work on certain things because this one thing we have isn't always going to work. You know, you can't always have yes men. You got to have guys that will say no, you know, a lot, you know, whenever something's not working because not everything works you know in there you can't just say oh that looks good all the time you know you need guys that are going to do that and i think mark breland him stepping up on like i said this major platform you know and seeing his fighter hurt the way he was he said no i had enough he didn't care about what anybody thought not even the champ himself he said yo i'm stopping it and see something good out of that came you know at first deontay may not liked it but hey, he realized it. He realized that Mark Breland was really just doing it to to look out for him. So respect to Mark Breland for real. But uh, yeah, that's all I got on this, guys. Just kind of wanted to go back in and update y'all on that. Uh, just let me know your thoughts on that about them linking back up. Do you think uh, Wilder also needs another trainer in his corner? But uh, yeah, that's all I got on this, guys. Combo Breaker 99. I'm out. Subscribe. Peace.